Hey guys, me again. So, I thought I would share my training plan that I created with you guys just to show you how you should kind of be training for a half marathon, how I've been training. I just created this from what I've learned and it's really been working, I think. Um, so, I will link this below, but this is what I created for myself. Uh, I actually started, so this starts at week 9, but I have been, this page starts at week 9, but I've obviously started at week 1, which was in January. And what I focused on doing was having one speed run a week, one training run or easy run, and then one recovery run, and one long run. So in the first few weeks, I would only have about three runs a week or four shorter runs. And now um, in this last big block of training, because I had three blocks of three weeks with one deload week at the end of each block. And a deload week, I would decrease my total weekly volume or mileage. The goal of a training plan, depending on how many weeks you have, is to increase your volume, i.e. your total weekly mileage, every week. And then you implement your deload weeks, however many you want or whenever you feel necessary. And those deload weeks, you typically decrease volume. You can keep intensity in there if you want. The reason you're trying to increase volume in these blocks is to build up the amount of mitochondria that you have within your muscles. Building up your total mitochondria count will obviously help you to run further. But then... Hello, Roxy. Hello. Are you coming to say hi to everyone? Come, up, up. Hello. Hello. The purpose of having one speed session a week is to help the efficiency of the mitochondria that you've built up. So it's helping them to work faster. So think that you've built up all of this mitochondria and now you want them to work optimally and at the fastest rate as possible to give you the amount of energy that you need in order to increase your speed and your pace for those long runs. So you want a lot of volume to be able to run further, but then you also want those speed sessions to help your mitochondria work harder during those longer runs, which will ultimately help you run faster. And that is why you have one speed session a week. Why the reason you have one a week is because those are typically more neurologically fatiguing and very tough workouts. Uh, your long run is obviously mimicking race day and those are typically in your zone two training. So it's a lower heart rate and those are kind of as a practice of your long run for race day but not at the same pace as race day the other runs within the week are recovery runs to help just pump blood through your muscles which will bring in nutrients and everything and then the other runs are literally just to bring up your weekly mileage You can do your speed runs in a mul multiple different ways. You can do intervals, you can do tempo runs, you can do fartlek runs. I typically would do fartlek training where I would do like a 2K warm up and then I would do, for example, it would be six, four minute hard, like a hard pace. And then it would be say a two minute easy pace in between. But each week you would build that up. Another note, practice running on the same terrain that you will be doing your race on. So if it's a road race, you train on the road. If it's a trail run, you, tr you obviously do trail runs. For me, mine is a road race, but it is very hilly. So I actually need to get good 
at those hills. My pacing strategy, I went the I went onto the Macmillan running calculator, which you can find online. I will link it below and I calculated all of my paces that I wanted. So I tried to be very realistic, taking into account the last half marathon I did, but about halfway through my training I realized that the route is very different. It is a lot more hilly and it's going to be a lot more tougher. So I'm doing the Two Oceans Half Marathon now. But the one that I did last year was in the wilderness, which is on the up the east coast of South Africa. And there were definitely hills in it, but this is going to be a lot tougher. So my goal, I had you put in your goal time. I'm not going to share my stats. I will maybe share, share them after race day because I now put in my, my goal time, I think is very unrealistic now that I've realized that the course is a or well, the route is a lot tougher but I did so you put in your your goal finish time and you get a race pace after that you get your goal race pace and then you have your estimated lactate threshold and your critical velocity pace and your vo2 max pace and then you can get all of your training paces which is amazing it calculates it for you all of your estimations you can have it in miles you can have it in or kilometers you can also get your treadmill speeds on this calculator which i've been using as well because i don't like running in the rain or i would be doing a run after a strength training session or something like that. So that was really helpful for me. But obviously if you are on a treadmill, you definitely want to have it at a 1% one, 1 at least. I do one 1.5% incline at least. And that mimics the air resistance that you're running against. But also what I've been doing on the treadmill is increasing the incline when I am running just because there are a lot of hills. Hey, so I decided to actually cut this video in half because the next section I talk about my strength training. So I actually decided to cut this in half. And so if you want to watch the second part of this video where I talk about my strength training and how that can benefit running or limit your running, uh, then watch the next video, which will be uploaded after this one. But Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment below your email or Instagram handle. Basically just I need a way to contact you if you want the training program. It's completely free and yeah, I am an exercise scientist. So I have written the program completely from everything that I've learned from doing my own research. So it is accredited from an exercise scientist but it will be completely free just because i want to give back to you guys and yeah i will keep an eye out in the comments and get back to you guys as soon as possible if not message me on instagram because my instagram is also linked below in the description and remind me thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and comment below if you have any questions and i will see you guys in the next one